Hey guys, I am here with my iPhone 4 us and today I'm going to show you guys apps for girls. So first let me just go over the apps that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you Deco Girl, which is a calendar app, iPink Calculator, Lady Light, Girls Cam, and Candy Cam. Oh. Sorry, it's storming pretty good out there. But um, I'm showing you two camera apps because they're both good for different reasons and I feel like some of you will prefer one over the other. So um, I'm just going to start with Deco Girl and you can create a passcode for this. So let me put mine in really quick. Okay, so here's the calendar. Um, you do have three different themes you can choose. So you have the romantic jewelry theme which is how it is stock. Then you have the colorful pop star and the natural antique heart. So I'm just gonna keep it this one since that's how it comes. Um, so this calendar is great because you can keep track of your um, events, your appointments, birthdays, anniversaries, all of that like a normal calendar, but you can also keep track of your period, um, your health, you have a diary, a, a diary down there, photo album, and everything. So, I'll start with health note. So you can put your temperature, your weight, your sleep, how much you slept that night, um, any notes that you feel you need to add. Then you have symptoms here, and you could rate yourself on how bad it is. So that's great that you can keep track of your health in there. And then you have your period note. So it tells you when your next period is, when your ovulation date, your cycle length, period length. Um, you can add random, you know, any notes in there that you choose. And then you have diary. And I don't know what I did, but. Um, you have diary and schedule. And first of all, you can put your mood every day in here. It just has some cute little, like, um, like emoji girls. I don't know what you call them. But they're cute. And then, let me get next out of here. There we go. Um, you can um, add stickers in here. You can add photos. If you click on this blank spot, it gives you a choice to do your schedule or your diary. Um, so you hit schedule and you click the plus, and then it gives you three choices. You can add a birthday, an anniversary, or a schedule. So this is how you add your appointments and your events in here, and it just gives you, you know, you just fill in all the information, just like a normal calendar. So um, let me give you an example of a diary entry because I made one on Saturday. I just put, you can do them daily if you choose to, but I just put them in like when we do special things or fun things. So Saturday we took our kids to the drive-in movies. So I put that, I have a picture of the kids in the car. Then my mood was normal. And then I just put, you know, took the girls to the drive-in. So I can add stickers to this if I choose. So you can just kind of like decorate it up a little bit and then that's what that would look like so that's really um, a cool feature to have and then you can also put stickers here like I put this little flower here you could put it anywhere in this little section just to decorate it so that is a cool app definitely check it out um, I really love that it incorporates all these features into one app. I'll show you the list view really quick because I really like the list view. It shows you your pictures, your diary entries, um, all your events, your, you know, your whole schedule and everything in here. So this is a great app. Check it out. There is, sorry, I'm getting a weather alert, but there is um, a free version. The full version is $1.99 of that. So next one is iPink Calculator, and this is a free app, and it just has a, a normal calculator, but it has pink keys with the little flowers on them. And what I love about this is it incorporates other things, such as a converter, a tax calculator, and a tip calculator. So I'll show you the converter really quick. 
um, you just tap up here and then you can choose your conversion here. So let's say you have a thermometer that's only Celsius and you take your temperature and that says 38 degrees. So you can see in, in Fahrenheit it's 100.4. So that is the converter. Tax, you just click over here and you can put what percent um, tax uh, you're paying and then you could put like a total in again for $25 it's going to be $2 tax and it'll give you your total oh I forgot to show you the last one sorry tip calculator um, you saw right here you just choose how many people you're choosing between or I'm sorry splitting between um, how much tip you want to leave and then you'll put in like the total amount of the bill and it'll give you um, how much tip per person, how much total per person, how much total tip, and how much the bill total is. So that's a really great app to um, have. Comes in handy. Um, next is Lady Light, and I believe this one's 99 cents, but it's a really nice flashlight app. This looks really pretty on your screen. It looks really nice. Has this big pink button, and you can just push this, you know, on and off. Um, what I like about this as well is you can click this little moon down here and it'll put this shade up so you can't accidentally turn your light off. So you, if, you, you don't, if you hit the screen when you're using it, it doesn't turn off. So you just slide this down here to get back and you could shut it off. So that is a great app as well. And next we have girls camera. All right, let me go back. Here's what the main menu looks like. You just hit camera and when it opens up it automatically opens the front facing camera but you can turn it around up sorry up here and this also has um, you can pick a photo from your gallery or you have a timer which is nice and then they have some new features here where you can do like split pictures and stuff so that's really cool. Um, so what you do is you choose a frame and the only thing I'm not crazy about is it doesn't give you an option to do no frame when you're using the camera. Um, there is a plain white one if you scroll through a little bit. Um, I'll just use this one. This one's pretty plain. But uh, you take a picture. Here, let me just choose one from the gallery. So let me just choose a photo. And then... Um, you can add a filter if you choose to, you don't have to, and then you just click start. And um, you have um, frames here, so you can pick a frame. Kind of scroll through so you can see most of them. But once you find one that you like, um, sorry, I don't know, I'll just keep this one for now. Um, then you have like pens that you can write on your picture and you have um, like the stamp, uh, oh this is the background one, but yeah you have stamp rollers and um, right here draw stamps. So the, that you just pick like a heart and then you can just kind of like roll them on. And then you have like the normal stamps, you can pick like sparkles or little you know pictures, pick a teddy bear. And you can move it where you want it, turn it. Um, and then you have highlights, which are like little drawings that people do. And you can add these to your um, picture if you want. This one's cute. Let's put that up there. Um, and then you have text. And you can put like fonts. You can choose like how big you want them. You can pick the color here. So um, 
this is a really nice app to, uh, you know, if you like adding all these cute things to your photos. So that is Girls Camera. Next is called Candy Cam. And this is a free app, but it comes with a um, limited amount of filters. If you want more filters, you have to pay for them. I paid $3.99 for, um, I think it was like 24 additional filters and 12 additional frames. So it's not that bad. Um, if you want to get them individually, here I'll show you the store really quick before I go into that. But they have like all these different um, filter packs. And what I did is just got this one down here, the candy cam pack for $3.99. And it gives you six of these. Um, so you save $2 that way. But um, So let me see. You can um, use the front camera by clicking down here. And then you can pick from your gallery. So I'll pick a picture. Um, it's a random picture, but you can crop it, move it. Then here's all your filters. This has really good filters, and that's why I wanted to show you guys this app is because it does have a lot of good filters that you can use. You got these colored ones, which look pretty cool. Um, let's see. Glitter has like the little lights, light effects on it, which is nice. Um, so yeah, I just really like the filters in this app. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this app. Um, you can also add frames. Sorry, I'm getting all kind of alerts on my phone. I got eBay. I want a case. But, um, so, you got some cute frames, you know, you got some, like, basic frames, there's some, like, glitter, um, some sprinkles. So, this is a really nice app. I really do like this app, um, a lot. Uh, my least favorite thing about it is the camera, um, because it just looks blurry to me. But once you take the picture, it, it seems to focus. But it just looks blurry through the lens. It doesn't seem like it's focusing. But that's just my opinion. Um, you know, try it out. You might like it. This is a free app, so you don't have to pay for anything right off the bat. You just, um, you know, just give it a try. So those are my apps for girls. If you guys have any good apps for girls that you would like me to try out, please leave it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.